Good morning. Welcome to Wellness by Degrees. Today we're going to learn how to adapt Navasana or boat pose to the chair. Let's get started. So to start out, I'm going to show you what boat pose looks like um, without the chair and a couple adaptations for that. So we wanna start just sitting straight up with our legs out in front of us, feet planted. And then we're going to hinge at the hips backwards. We wanna be tucking in the pelvis, engaging the abs. We wanna be nice and long through the spine. And then level one, on the ground, you might lift the heels. Level two, you might lift one leg, then the other. And you can keep the hands underneath um, the thighs or you can lift them out in front of you as you're doing all of this. And level three, you lift off the ground, either holding the legs here or straightening out to whatever extent you can. So let's move it to the chair. So boat pose is a balancing pose as well as a core workout and it can be a little bit tricky. It's one of the more difficult things to adapt to a chair, I think personally. Um, but there are a couple ways to do it that can help you still get the same benefits. So we want to be about halfway forward on our chair to start out. We always start out in a mountain pose, making sure the feet are planted, toes are pointing forward. We have that space behind us. Um, so part of what we do during boat pose is we try to keep um, the upper body at an even tilt to the lower body. So we want to hinge backwards with our hips, still keeping the spine long. Shoulders going back, neck going back. And then engage through the core. So lift through the pelvis, engage the abs. And then version one of the pose, level one, you might lift the heels off the ground. So you might also feel more engagement through the core as you're doing this. This is where we start to activate the legs. Level two, you might lift one leg up and maybe bring it forward and then back. Hands can stay on the knees through all of this. You might switch and do the other leg or hands can grab the sides of the chair if you want to help with balance. Level three, you're going to lift up the legs. See how I'm trying to keep my spine long as I do this? So you're drawing the shoulders back, you're hinging back, you're not leaning into the chair, and then you lift the legs up. And then you can stay there for as long or as little as you'd like. If you are lifting the legs to any extent where more than one leg is coming off the ground, you do want to make sure that you can keep your form. So you want to make sure that spine stays long, you keep tilted back, you can tuck in your abs, and the legs are engaged. So that's all I've got for boat pose. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.